Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, I'm back with another video in the same setup. I actually, as I'm filming this, haven't posted my cash condensing video. So make sure you leave in the comments whether or not you like this new setup. It's a little closer up. I've seen a few people ask me if they could get like a closer up view of everything. So I thought I would just kind of rearrange my setup a little bit, but I can always go back to my other setup too. And I probably will at some point because you guys know me, I like to change things up every once in a while. So before I get started with today's cash stuffing video, I have another fun unboxing to do with you guys. So this company has asked me to partner with them again. And I just love when I can build relationships with other companies and we can collab together. So I am just gonna start opening this. I wanted to like give you guys the full experience because I don't know, I just think it's more fun that way. All right, so I decided to partner again with Julia Jewelry, and I actually picked out a custom piece this time that I'm really excited about. I'm not wearing my Julia Jewelry ring in this video, but I have a couple of rings from them that I absolutely love, and this time I decided to change it up just a little bit. So, we are gonna go ahead and just open this up, give you the full experience. So they always send this booklet with that has a lot of examples of their jewelry and they have like literally like anything you can think of, any pieces of jewelry. They have men's jewelry, custom jewelry, and it's all so beautiful. Something that I really love about their jewelry is that it is made from 925 sterling silver, which is like one of the best forms of silver. It's comparable with 99.9% .9 silver. I can say all the rings that I have from them are absolutely gorgeous, but I did not order a ring this time. So they send this super cute gift bag with, and Julia Jewelry is the sister company to She Said Yes, which I just did an unboxing for in one of my last videos. And their packaging is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And I have not seen it yet, obviously. So like I said, it is not a ring. So I got this necklace and it has an E on it, which I think is so cute. I love dainty necklaces like this and I like to layer them with like different size chains and I have a lot of like gold chains so I thought that this would be so pretty with that. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. So with this specific necklace, you can actually get up to three of these. So I have four kids so I couldn't get all four of their letters on here so I just did mine but um you can get up to three custom letters on this specific necklace but they do have other jewelry that you can add even more letters onto but oh my gosh it's just so pretty it's like bright and shiny so keep an eye out for this because I'll be wearing it in my vlogs but I absolutely love this so pretty. Thank you so much, Julia Jewelry, for partnering with me again. I absolutely love your company. You guys, make sure you check out the description because I'm going to have a promo code in the description so you can get a discount if you are in the market for any jewelry for yourself or for a gift. But yeah, oh, that was super fun. Let's jump into today's cash stuffing video. So this week, okay, I couldn't find my teller slip. It was on the floor. So this week I'm going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,155. And I do plan my cash stuffing at the beginning of the month for the entire month. So it's pretty much the same amount every single week this month. And so I'm gonna grab my cash planning pages out of here, but I just had to show off these beautiful dashboards. These are from A Little of It All. And I got them off of her Etsy shop. So I got two of them. This is the other one. I thought they were perfect for fall. And like, look how that like, it's got like gold accents on it. So cute. And then she also sent me this really cute paper clip as a freebie. Absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna grab out my cash planning pages and set them aside. And this is the A5 binder from the Sophie collection, the new Sophie collection. All right, and let's start with unstuffing my wallet for this week. So I actually sold some things on, 
on Facebook Marketplace. And so I have some extra cash here that I'm gonna put into my savings challenges at the end of the video. And then I do have one receipt in here. So I'm gonna scan that into my Fetch Rewards app, which I will link my referral code on the screen and also in the description. Basically, Fetch is an app where you can scan in your receipts. Those receipts turn into points, and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I have a couple extra envelopes in here because I did do a little bit of shopping. I didn't. I planned on doing shopping. I didn't actually end up going, but I had put these envelopes in my wallet for that reason. So let's empty out change next. And I'm just going to leave those sit there so that I don't forget to put them back into my sinking funds binder. So I've been getting questions about this fly leaf. I am in the process of designing a fly leaf. So actually the same manufacturer that made me the Sophie binders said that they are excited to design a fly leaf for me. So I'm in the process of like looking at different materials. They should arrive to me in the mail within the next week. So I'm gonna look through those and just kind of compare them with the wallet and decide like which one is the closest. I'll probably offer other fly leaves as well in my shop, but I for sure want to get this one ordered so that you guys have a fly leaf to use with this wallet since Moterm has been out of stock with this color for, I mean, almost a year now. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. So I have $15 left in groceries. I budgeted 25, so I think that I'll just add another five and make it 20 and then put the $20 bill into my sinking funds envelope in our other binder. This is just for miscellaneous odds and ends. My personal spending. So I picked up a coffee this morning and look at these ones. They are like brand new. He had a hard time getting them apart because they're so crispy. So we are going to also put this into my savings challenges. Eating out is empty. Drinks is empty. Kids is empty. Nails is empty. Kindness is empty. And miscellaneous still has buy. So let's go ahead and restuff these. And I did just stuff groceries. So we're good there. My personal spending, we stuff all of our personal spending cash at the beginning of the month. And so we just pull from it throughout the month. I have two fifties left. So I'm just going to grab one out of here and then I will need this again. So I'm going to set it aside. I feel like this is close up. I can actually see the camera though, cause it's down a lot lower. So that's kind of nice. So eating out I always just do a 10 and this is just in case I'm out and about and want to grab something and the rest of the money I have budgeted for eating out will go into our low priority sinking funds. Drinks, I'm going to do a 20, I believe. Yes. This is for adult beverages specifically. Kids, I budgeted 25 and I think I'm going to do a 10 and put the other 15 in our sinking funds envelope. Nails, I do not need a fill, so we'll skip that one this week. And then kindness is gonna be getting a five. Miscellaneous is good, so we're gonna, we're just gonna roll this over here. Perfect. Wallet is all set to go for the week. This is the A6 Chic Wallet, currently in stock. Last time I checked anyway, I think I finally ordered enough to appease the masses. <laughs> All right, I guess I did not need this binder. I, I keep doing that, but okay. So let's get going with high priority sinking funds. High priority sinking funds are things that we need to like keep our household running and take care of ourselves. So I'm gonna put some of these, oh, these rings are so nice and sturdy. Okay, so this one goes in low priority, but these two just go right in front here. Okay, so groceries. I budgeted 20, I put, well, I budgeted 25. I put five in my wallet, so I'm gonna put 20 here. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. Clothing is getting a 50. So now clothing has 50, are these on order? Yes, okay. 51, 52, 50, 70, 80, 90, is that 300? I did that thing where I was counting but not paying attention. Household is getting 30 as usual. 
So now household has 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300 in household. Personal hygiene is getting 25. So now personal hygiene has 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 20, 30, 35, 40, 340. I think once I hit like 400, I'm going to stop stuffing that until we start spending it. We just haven't needed anything lately. Baby Needs is getting 10. So now Baby Needs has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. Copays is getting 20. We've got cash jumping around here. So now Copace has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 160. Medical is getting 100. So now we have $500 set aside, 600, 700, 800, 900, $950 in medical. So we will hit a thousand next week, which is our goal to have that set aside there. And that's just for like, any miscellaneous like medical expenses. I mean, we've got four kids, so you never know. Vehicle maintenance is getting 50. So now vehicle maintenance has 100, 200, 300, 354, 455, $520 in vehicle maintenance. Pet care is getting 40. So now pet care has 51, 52, 20, 40, 50, 55, $255. So almost got enough to take them in to get bathed and de-shedded. We have two giant German Shepherds with very long fur. See, oh my God, every week. This is week three of September. And I've done that every week. I'm not stuffing Sam's Club this month. Miscellaneous, I did five in my wallet. So I'm gonna do 15 here. So now miscellaneous has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Miscellaneous is just for any random things that I forget to budget for. Next we'll do low priority. So this is actually a, so what I used to take photos. It's basically just like a piece of like, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's like textured, but it's, keeps moving around. I'm not used to it. I'm just used to like filming on my counter, which I am in my counter in my kitchen. I just put this underneath. Anyway, okay, eating out is getting 50. I did 10 in my wallet, so I'm gonna do 20, 40 in our sinking funds envelopes. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, and two. $82 in eating out. Drinks is getting 50. Whoop, that's not true getting 40 because I already put 10 in my wallet. So now drinks has 50, 70, 90, 110. Emily's spending and Chris's spending was stuffed at the beginning of the month. Chris must have grabbed all his cash out of there. I made a comment. So I'm like, you haven't taken any of your cash out. And he's like, well, I haven't needed it. He's been working really hard lately. He's got this huge project for date nights getting 10 for his company. 20, 40, 50, because he, he owns his own company. And so he's been working on a really big project, like a window project. So he's just been working. He leaves at like six in the morning and gets home at six at night and just doesn't have time to spend money. Family fun is getting a 20. So now it has 50. Kids is getting, I budgeted 25, but I put 10 in my wallet. So we're going to do 15 in the envelope. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Antonio is getting his usual 10. So he has 50, 70, 80. Antonio is our little through big brothers, big sisters. Been matched with him for eight years. He turns 15 next week. I can't believe it. Hockey is getting 55. 
So now hockey has 500 set aside, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 795. Hockey rink is getting 25. I think we maybe will hit our goal. I don't know. Our goal is 500 by October. 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 40, 50, 55. 455. Hang on. I don't know why I feel like so 55 so we need 45 more so first week of October we'll we'll hit it so nails is getting 20 so now it has 40 gifts is getting a 20 as well so now gifts has 51 50 70 80 180 dollars in gifts Renovations has $500 set aside. It's getting a 50. So now we have 500, 550, 600. Seasonal lawn care, $500 set aside for seasonal lawn care. And then 40 is what we're gonna be adding this week. So now we have 540. Memberships is fully funded as of right now, so we are um, we are stuffing it for the rest of this month, but then I think I'm going to take a break until the new year starts because we just paid for our Amazon Prime and Sam's Club this past week. So, yeah, I'm going to do that 25 just because I planned it already. But when I did my cash condensing, I did stick a fully funded placeholder in here. And this is the new design. This is the white. So it's technically not a new design. I just have the frosted and the white now. Um, organizing is supposed to come right before memberships. Ugh. So let's put that in here. So organizing is getting 10. So now it has 100, 10, and 20, $120. Tax prep is getting a 20. This is to pay our CPA for doing our taxes. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215. Wedding ring is not getting stuffed. 10th anniversary is getting 100. So we're gonna to go to Colorado in October to celebrate our 10th anniversary. So we have $500 set aside, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, $1,050. The Airbnb is already paid for. We already cashed up for that. Travel is getting 20. So this is just kind of spending money and whatever else we wanna do while we're there. So 50, 100, 20, 40. $140 in travel. So that was our high and low priority. And then next we'll do holiday sinking funds. All right, so for Valentine's Day, we're doing a five. A lot of these get five. So 115 is what we have in Valentine's Day. Gosh, the cash condensing that I just did was so incredibly necessary. Easter has 50, 70, 90, 95. 4th of July is also getting five. So now it has 20, 40, 45, 50. Halloween is getting 10, it's coming up. So now it has 100, 150, 200, 250, 260, $270. The girls' Halloween costumes are already purchased because 
Rowan is really excited to dress up. Uh, and then Bristol, I found hers at Target on clearance. It was just a tutu and some wings. So I think she'll be a butterfly, which is actually what Rowan is too. Thanksgiving is getting five. And then Liam just needs his costume. 100, 110, 115, 120. And then Eli doesn't really dress up. He just is so happy to like run around the neighborhood with all the kids. But with his like sensory challenges, he just has no interest in dressing up. Black Friday is getting a $10 bill. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440. I feel like this envelope has just been building so slowly, but I'm only putting 10 bucks a week in there. So Christmas is getting a 50. So now we have 1,000, 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, $1,750 saved up. And we've been saving for Christmas since January. We save for all of our holidays throughout the year, so it's just a little bit at a time. New Year's Eve is getting a five. Nope, it's getting a 10. So now it has 100, 120, 130, 135. Back to school is getting a five. Birthday parties. Um, is getting 30. So now birthday parties has 500, 550, 570, 580, 590. Next is summer. Summer ha is getting 10, so now it has 20. Fall is getting 45. So now it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225, $230 in fall. Winter. Winter is getting a 10. So now it has 20, 30, 40. Spring is also getting a 10. So now it has 50, 70, 80. I messed up somewhere because seasonal decor is supposed to get 25, but it's fine. So we'll give it 15. So now seasonal decor has 100, 150, 160, $165. And that's it for holiday sinking funds. So next we'll move into our savings challenges. Okay. So these are just like so brand new. So we'll put those there. So you have six $1 bills, two 20s and a 10 to put into our savings challenge this week. So the $1 savings challenge, I don't have a tracker for. I've just been saving it. And then I also condense this one or else it just gets too full. So we're gonna add these six ones into here. And since I haven't in a while, I will actually count these because I it's been so long. So I'll count this, hopefully I don't mess up. 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. 164 in my $1 savings challenge so far this year. So I've been saving my rollover money or like the leftover spending cash that I have in my wallet since January. Okay, so this is the $5 savings challenge. I don't have any fives to put in here this week, but so far we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. I feel like I counted wrong because I actually have 250 in here, but that's okay. It's like getting full. I have two more fives to complete this tracker, and then I'm going to put these fives aside, and we'll start the tracker over and see how far we can get into by the end of the year. 
Okay, so for the $10 savings challenge, I have one 10 to add to this one. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 320. And at the end of this one, you save $520. We're just over halfway I'm done with the $10 savings challenge. And then the $20 savings challenge. All right, so I have two 20s to add to this one. And you can remove the Sharpie off of these savings challenges just with like fingernail polish remover. That's what I do. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, exactly $700 saved up in this one so far. And at the end, you save $1,040. Sorry, that was probably really close to the camera. <laughs> I'm used to the camera being up higher. All right, and that's it for our savings challenges for this week. And that's it for our cash stuffing. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video blessed you and that you had fun. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video.